Now this is a story about all about how my life got flipped turned upside down with a couple of guys who were up to no good and started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight, my mom got scared, so you moving their aunt's house in to I don't fucking know. I don't know. I'm bad at remembering that song, okay? Cut me some slack. Characters guides, I need some. I need some. We have a Yoshi. Who else do we have? Who else? Will you come over to Maryland and boot me on the nose? You won't. Alright, Luigi. Anyone else? Before I start doing randoms. Yeah, it didn't work, Daniel. It didn't work. You gotta be you gotta be uh more abrasive, I guess. I don't fucking know. Also, I thought it was Sunday today. Jesus Christ, I'm an idiot. Then again, how the fuck did I go to the post office today? I had to go to the post office to drop off a package, and um holy fuck. They're closed on Sundays. Holy shit, what's wrong with me? Why am I so stupid tonight? Jesus. Oh, we could do both bups. Do you or have stupid? I might. I might have stupid. <laughs> Fuck you for using words, which meaning I don't remember. <laughs> You're welcome, Bup Duo. Yes, son? Let's do this. Ah, you, you see, you see, Zelda 2 is a bad game. It's a terrible game. Um, Breath of the Wild is leagues better than it. Hell, the original Zelda's leagues better than it. Hell, Link to the Past is way better than Zelda 1 or Zelda 2. Ever wish they could be. Yeah, you kind of, you kind of stepped on a nerve there, bro. <laughs> if I did a moment ago. 8154. Both of the original Zeldas are terrible. They age terribly. Link to the Past was the first actually good one. Actually, no. Was Link's Awakening before or after that game? If Link's Awakening was before that game, then, uh, that was the first good Zelda. Awakening was after because Game Boy was 80, 89. No, no, no. Link's Awakening was 92, though. Was it 92 or 93? It was 92 or 93. And Link to the Past came out in 91. So either way, I'm just barking up the wrong tree. Link to the Past did come first. I should have known that because Link, Link's Awakening is literally a sequel to Link to the Past. The hero of Link to the Past, after he defeats Ganon, he basically has a dream, and that dream is Link's Awakening. Uh, I should know that. <laughs> I should fucking know that by now, but I'm too stupid. Ay ay ay. There she's out, Peach is out, Toadette's out. It's a bop! The bop wins. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna need to, uh... Toad won that. Toadette won that, and... I mean, Toad won that.
Let me actually check. Where are the players again? I can't chill. Fuck. That's dumb. I guess I can't tell which which one is which. I think it's player three is Toadette. I could be wrong. Nine five. Hey, just like your job. I work nine to five. Toad's gonna be uh zooming along. That's gonna be his happening too. Holy shit, he got a little bit of everything. He got a little bit of everything here. Oh, Toad, you almost had it too. Toad, you could have had it too. Those two coins were the hardest ones at the end. Nine one one. Nah. It would have been funny. If you get all ten coins in that happening space, you get a star. But Daniel, you're like 20. You're like my age, my guy. Huh? I mean, I can confirm you act like a nine-year-old. Star for Toadette, if she wins. <laughs> yeah, but we're not talking about technicalities of leap years, are we now? No, 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 no. We're not talking about technicalities. Set at one. She got a star. Finish. She draws blood through an unconventional way, an unorthodox way, an insane way, an unproposed way, and other fancy words you can tell your friends. She also draws first blood. Literal first blood. Well, Daniel, that- you made it sound sus, just saying. And now that you've rectified that, it makes more sense, but you sounded very sus. Like, mm. Go. You typed it shitty. Sounds like a Polish thing you'd do. Okay, that was mean. Joshi is dead. Long live the Lugi. Joshi is dead. Long live Lugi. He gets all of Joshi's coins. Holy shit, look at this dude. Yoshi paid his taxes for once, guys. Holy shit. He paid his taxes. What a good boy. What a good boy. What a good little Yoshi, paying his taxes on time.
Fun thing, if you push the ball into a wall, it'll, like, get mad at you, and the physics engine will just shove it to a side really fast. The r Welcome to Discover, where we have the law-abiding breed of Yoshi. It pays its taxes on time, every February. It is a rare sight. Yoshi and Toadette win. Yoshi. Toadette. Also, let's get that prediction going, why don't we? Who will win? Two bups. One cup. Or... The green, the green men. That's a red for Bup. Two Bups, one cup, or greenies? Fifteen. Fifteen on Luigi. Oh, so you're older than me. I thought you were like 19 or 20, Daniel. Again, I keep thinking everyone is like around my age. Nah, everyone's older than me. It's like, bro, what? Green versus round tops? Huh? <laughs> round tops? <Go. Finish. laughs> that was... That was fast. <laughs> that was very fast. <laughs> okay. That was insanely fast. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, happening for Yoshi. Can Yoshi get all ten? No, he can't. He's not even- he got one. Two, three, four. He got six of ten. It is suggestive, David. Log. Bottom text. Log 4J. Oh shit. <laughs> And then the web developer said log4j and everyone started laughing. <laughs> Only a couple people. It is suggestive. Yeah, cuz you're suge exactly. Exactly. This man gets it. This man gets it. This man gets it. Five. Twenty. You have to be 24 to drive a motorcycle in Poland? What the fuck kind of bullshit is that? You can drive a motorcycle at 18 here. I think. That's stupid. That is a stupid Polish law. Luigi's gonna take his 10 coins and get a star for it. Oh, specific engine size, gotcha. I was about to say, like, don't you fucking tell me that a European country doesn't allow people to ride motorbikes before the age of 20. Lu E G E E. Oh, and Luigi gets a nice little boost back up the mountain. Lucky him. 
So by the way, you're guaranteed to go up the mountain with this rocket. Because there's a cheat that allows him to go all the way up. Skipping 60% of the of the map. In fact, I'd even say 70%. Screwed up, not up! Hey guys. Screwed up, not up! <laughs> No, 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 let me do it again, let me do it again. Screw it up, and it up! There. <laughs> Go. Perfect. The world is now a better place, now that I've made that a meme. Yoshi and Toad win that one. Ah, uh, okay. Metallic Yoshi. Never thought you'd see him, but now here he is. Metallica, featuring Yoshi. Just imagine Yoshi singing, uh, uh, One by Metallica. Just imagine that. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. He could win a star here. Bridge too short. <gasps> Ooh, Pog. Go. <laughs> also, yeah, given the amount of A's on that, <laughs> ah, you have ah, m, ah, two, ah, one, and ah. <laughs> Okay, Yoshi's just slightly behind. Ooh, this is gonna be close. This is gonna decide it. Finish. Oh, did Yoshi lose? What? What? I'm sorry, what? That looks like a tie to me. I mean, there is a there is a character named Bashi or Boshi in uh, uh, Super Mario RPG. Not even joking, by the way. I guess that's true. You can get a moped at the age of fourteen. Jesus, that's a bit young. That's a bit young, don't you think? It can only be 50 cubic centimeters. Ah, okay. That's pretty tiny. That is pretty tiny. It's Bashi time. It's Bashi time. Yes, it is. Final countdown, please. It's final countdown. Three to one vote. <laughs> Go! 
Well. Finish. Wow, Toadette. Luigi's just trying to kick her, and he's just bouncing off of her head. And then she eventually just shoves him off by just letting him bounce on top of her. That sounded bad out of context. Um, <laughs> mm. Okay, there are your results. Ten for Luigi. Go, Ouija. Um, Two for Bup. 28 for Toadette. And nothing for Yoshi. Do 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 do. Diddly do do. Ah, yes. I forgot I did that with bup spaces. Look, it's a bup space. It's a bup space, guys. Holy shit. No fucking way, dude. It's a bup spot. It's a bup stop. I forgot I modified that texture, honestly. I really forgot that, that I did that. I keep forgetting and then re-remembering, and I'm like, holy shit, I'm so proud of myself. Well, Toad bumped it up to 40, so whoever's paying that star is gonna lose half their wallet. I'm sorry, half all their wallet. That is a blue. Toadette wins this minigame, she'll get another star. And bring the price back down. Luigi's just gonna go hyper. He's not getting this star. So he's just gonna go all the way back down. 9, 8, 3. That's decent. 20. Bupa bupa, ha ha. That's just because it's Europe, honestly. That's just because Europe regulations are fucking stupid. And you know this already. You know how stupid the regulations are. It's because, you know, environmental regulations and shit. Which I understand exist, but they also make them unrealistic as fuck. In some cases. Like, with motorcycles. Yoshi and Luigi win. Bringing minigame star a bit closer now. We're at turn 7 of 30. Bup has a naturally formed fungus helmet, which protects him from getting a con- No, wait. He got a concussion. Scratch that. <laughs> Shocker. Hey, Yoshi, that's quite a shocker, isn't it? Quite a shocker, huh? I am the funny. Chat, I swear, I am the funny. That's gonna be communism. Poor fuck, he's broke. Everyone's going somewhere. Where, I don't know. Luigi? Oh, well, he can't afford that star. Nork and Toad. And I... Jeez. That kind of just fucked over everyone. Isn't it most governments, though? Fucking over the young people? And letting the old rich bastards take all the wealth? 
I mean, that's America. That's 100% what America does. Just saying. It's red for your bup. Ah! Worst roll in the game, folks. Worst roll in the game. A one and a two. Luigi is going turbo-tastic again. Turbo-tastic! Probably will be because a car is a giant metal shitbox. A motorcycle is open air. And you know I'm not wrong. One's a giant shitbox with four wheels, one's a very uh, hard to balance with two wheels and is loud as fuck and is open air. And you have more control over it, to be honest with you. But it's also more risky. But usually the damage you cause is to your body and not to your motorcycle. And I'm being serious with that. Usually, usually if a motorcycle gets into an accident, it results in the motorcycle driver being injured. Rather than the motorcycle being injured or hell, even a car getting injured. Motorcycles are kind of hard to damage. And they're hard to damage cars. Because they're so tiny. That doesn't mean that they can't, but it's rare. Finish. Eighteen for Toad. Twelve for everyone else. Wow, that was a tie. Yep, I counted that right. I was worried I didn't, but I counted that right. That's gonna be blue. Yep, blue. What are you gonna buy? You're going to buy 10 coins for a hammer bruh. Bruh moments. Uno bruh momento. Holy shit, Luigi. Get rid of some orbs. Fucking hell, dude. Bruh, dude, Luigi, what the fuck are you doing? You already have five orbs, my guy. Stop. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Another battle. Hella popper. <laughs> Go. Stone block two. That's a Minecraft mod pack, right? I think so. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's a Minecraft mod pack. Hello, Ian.
It's two bups versus two green men. Who will win? Well, currently Yoshi's taking this lead. Quite strongly, even. It is a mod pack, okay. Yoshi, how many points are you getting? Okay, Luigi's getting 10 of those. Toadette's getting two. Yoshi takes the lead here. Two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. That's pretty significant. Currently, the predictions are 1535 to 3201. Yoshi drops one there. I didn't count what Yoshi got. <laughs> Shrooms versus green people. That's gonna be a duel. That was 20 for Yoshi. Alright. Big Shroom Lords versus the Green People. That sounds weird. It's the it's the weed smokers versus the uh, LSD. That sounds even weirder. I'm going to stop. <laughs> Go! Oh, Yoshi got two there. <laughs> Poor Toad! Poor fucking Toad! Poor Flat Bastard. Poor Flat Bastard. Literally a Flat Bastard. Literally a flat bastard. He got crunched. Oh shit! Oh shit! And like that, Yoshi takes the lead. Yeah, the Iowans are all here. Will, Joe, and Alex. We have... Doom Doomhead. We have Furry and we have Footliker. The three Iowans have assembled. That is another board for Luigi. That's gonna be communism. Yeah, damn, the whole state here. Jesus. Ooh. Luigi could likely win coins here as long as it's not Toad. It's gonna be Yoshi, which means... He almost doubles his coins. Sweet. That helps him. Track and yield. I love that there's a buff space there. I love that there's a buff space there. Anytime it does a mini game roulette, you can see it, and I love it. It's so good. Go! It just makes me smile every time I see it. Faster! 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 Just Master of Puppets, but every time they say Master, it gets faster. Luigi's out. Yoshi's out. Toad is out! Oh my god. Hmm. Interesting, Ian. I might have to take up that offer. 
I might have to take up that offer. We might do a GTA stream this weekend. Or maybe even this week. Bug go boom. What exactly is Deep Rock Galactic? It sounds like a fucking Star Trek show name. Like Deep Space Nine, Deep Rock Galactic. Uh, what is it about exactly? I know it's not a Star Trek show or a Star Trek series, but it does sound like one. Like, what kind of game is it though? Is it like Minecraft on a different planet or what exactly is it? Because I've heard of it, I just don't know anything about it. Jesus Christ, Toad, use some of your fucking orbs. Holy shit, that man go yeet. That man go yeet. That man go yeet. And he gets a DK as well. Man really does go yeet. Give him a star. It's a star! Come on, Bup, I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Bup think emoji. Bup think emoji. <laughs> Bup think emoji. Oh, so it's literally just, it's literally just a Yogg's Cast Simulator. It's a Yogg's Cast Simulator, but FPS. Okay. <laughs> and Bup wins. Okay, I literally just pulled up the Steam, uh listing for it. It doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look like something I'd enjoy, because it's a shooter. But, uh, I could definitely see the appeal for it. I can definitely see the appeal for it. But yeah, that looks really cool. Bruh, two of them on the mic. Luigi, you're on the mic. Okay. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy, diggy hole. Diggy, diggy hole. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy, diggy hole. Digging a hole. Go! So yeah, currently it's 50-35 to 41-01 for the prediction. The buffs are currently in favor. But I'd say it's a pretty close game. Finish. Both bups die. Both bups die colorized. A flaming shotgun and a grappling hook? Wait, 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 Will. I hope you're not talking about Doom Eternal, Kappa. Will, this is not Doom Eternal. This is... This is... Deep Rock Galactic. SMH. Silly Will. Silly Will. That's 20. The Bup gets 20. 20 monies for Bup. Why aren't you placing it over Toadette's face? I don't know. Toadette, Toad is being stupid. He spends 10. And he lands on a spear guy, so he's giving out 20 coins that he stole to Luigi. Yoshi gave 20 coins. 
And now Toad, uh... Gives 15 to Luigi. That's funny. That's funny as hell. I swear, if Luigi lands on a spear guy that Yoshi has, it's gonna be- it's gonna go full circle. I'm gonna laugh my ass off. So you guys have about a minute to predict, by the way. One more minute to predict. I can confirm. That's five for Toadette. Bring her up to 30. Like a real person, Alex. Jesus. Oh, Luigi, you poor fucker. Oh, oh, oh you poor bastard. Poor bastard. Poor bastard. Man's just got yeeted. <laughs> Denial. So yeah, prediction time is up. Luigi takes the lead. Well, I have Alex. I have. Remember, I had a girlfriend. Who won that? Oh, that was Luigi. Dude, Luigi and Toadette were photo. That was a photo. That was a literal fucking photo. God damn. That was a literal fucking photo. I mean, when you wa when a girl walks up to you and says, I like you, you don't say no. I'm just saying, when a girl walks up to you and says she likes you, you don't say no. <laughs> That's all. That's all I gotta say. Enough said. Oh my f- Holy shit! Oh my god! Holy fuck! Oh my god! All those orbs! All those orbs! Holy shit! <laughs> 17 orbs! Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus! Oh my lord! Get a load of this guy! Fucking hell, dude. That was hilarious. <laughs> Just seeing all those spinny colors in a wheel was really cool looking. I do agree. That was really cool looking. Just you. <laughs> you are now getting hypnotized. <laughs> Look into this. A dangling coin. You will see something. I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh, same, same thing. Same thing. It, it's, it's hypnotic in a sense. You are feeling very spoopy. You are a ghost. You are literally not alive. You are literally just a white sheet. I don't fucking know. I'm gonna stop. That sounded... That sounded not kosher. I'm gonna stop now. Go! Oh! 
Oh, Luigi, you fucking dumbass. You're only a fucking moron, Luigi. You're only a fucking moron. I mean, aren't there plushes of them? There's like an Eevee plush. Hell, I knew this one girl that got like a 24 inch tall Poke uh, Pikachu plush for as a late Christmas gift. Not full size. Oh, right. Latias and Latias uh, Pokemon, aren't they like 10 feet tall or some shit? They're basically just giant birds. In a way. More dragons than anything, but still, my point stands. They're giant flying creatures. Oh, they're about human size? Oh, I thought they were bigger than that. Dragon burb. Dragon burbs. Well, Luigi is back up to the front of the line. Kinda. It's gonna be a four player. Ooh. Yawn. Hey guys, it's the boring run. Not fun run. Fuck fun run. It's called boring run. I could really turn this from being wholesome to cursed, but I'm deciding not to. I I could I could mention a certain copy pasta, but I'm not going to. <laughs> you don't want to know, son. You don't want to know. Trust me. You'll hate certain people for the rest of your life. I'm just gonna say that. Dude, I would love a Snorlax because, again, he'd just be a giant beanbag. You could sleep on him and he wouldn't give a shit. You could just sleep on the mans and he would just be like, Yeah, I'm cool. He's a giant fucking bed. A giant fucking pillow. A giant, like, you know, beanbag. You know they sell Snorlax beanbags? They sell, they sell Snorlax beanbags, shit you not. They do. I know they do. <laughs> Yoshi gets a red. I mean, they're just a normal sized beanbag, but it just looks like a Snorlax. Now, if it were life size, oh, that, would, that thing would be fucking huge. It'd be probably half the size of this room that I'm in. Actually, that's an exaggeration. It'd be about a quarter of the size of this room, but still, my point stands. It'd be huge. Toadette, you just committed a sin. You covered the buff space. <laughs> Warlord! <laughs> ah, yes. Warlord, I choose you. <laughs> African Warlord, I choose you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that was great. That was fucking amazing. Holy shit. Go. Genocidal whales run. <laughs> oh my god. That was great. 
Jesus, Yoshi, you almost touched that thing. Oh, oh my god, Toad, how are you not hitting them? Finish. Bye, Yoshi. Buppet one. Huh? Oh dear, we're at nine we're at fifty-two percent chat on the community goal. <gasps> oh no, Toadet just got a nice lead with that one. Toadet just took a nice solid lead with that. Oh no. That's bad for Yoshi. That's really bad for Yoshi. That puts him in dead last yet again. Holy shit. That just put Yoshi in dead last and propelled Toadette really far into the lead. Cointagious! I'm probably gonna have to pause the game to count. Did everyone get a three there? I think everyone got a three there at the beginning. Ah, oh, look at those crushed boxes in the top of the screen. Oh my god. One, one, two, three. Toad got 13. One, two, three. One, two. Luigi got 10. One, two. Toad got 17. One, two, three. One, two. All right. Uh, fire, probably. Fire and or Psychic. Matt, is, is there a Fire Psychic Pokemon? Asking for a friend. Is there a Fire Psychic? That sounds like a very interesting combo. There is one, okay. Nine one one. Nope. Nine seven one. Seven looks like a one. You rotate forty five degrees. It looks like a one. It's ten for Toadette. Shut the fuck up. Uh oh. Not good for Toadette. Not good for anyone. Bruh. Is there even a dark water Pokemon? I don't know. You're I'm I'm not qualified enough to talk about that stuff. I'm not qualified. This is the only minigame that you can actually like lose in single player Bowser. Just because the RNG is so shit. And because there's like 16 of them. Finish. No fucking way! She got on the third one! Motherfucker got on the third one! No way! No fucking way! The odds of that are pretty low. Imagine if she got on the first one, that would have been even funnier. If she got on the first one, I would have died. Bye, Luigi. <laughs> Mega Gyarados is dark water? Oh, I didn't know that. Is it dragon water normally? 
Because I swear it's dragon and water, because it's Leviathan. Go! B A X Y. It isn't? It's water flying. Oh. How the fuck is it a flying? That sounds weird. <laughs> what? What? I'm, I'm quoting that. Add quote. Nuff cooking I dead. <laughs> Nuff cooking I dead. Just what even was that that you were saying? Nuff cooking I dead. That's gonna use that. I didn't see how much Toad paid for that orb. He paid ten. Luigi used an orb. The only one I know of those is Kingdra. That is the only one I know. I only know like Gen 1. And maybe a little bit of like the evolutions added to later games, but that's it. I know nothing. <laughs> You're talking to a guy that doesn't know Pokemon. <laughs> Jesus, Luigi has so many fucking bonus stars, dude. What the fuck? The fuck, dude? Why you got so many, Chief? Someone really doesn't like Charizard. Someone really doesn't like Charizard. Really doesn't. Go! Toad's gonna get it. Yep. Oh, Toadette had it too! Watch, it's gonna be the next frame over. No, it's all the way in the front. Lugi. 2 one, one, one. If Yoshi gets the next one, he wins. Finish. He does. Putting up to 126. Oh shit, it is 1030. You can tell by that clock in the background of that minigame. Fun fact, that clock tells the real time. According to uh, the GameCube clock, which is accurate to the time in my time zone. Just a cool little fact. Cool bug facts! Cool bug facts. <laughs> I 
Ah, oh, Yoshi's not getting a star. He's getting money, though. Money! 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 No, just extinguish its tail. Doesn't that kill it? I, room, like, I've heard that apparently with the char Pokemon, if you extinguish the tail, it kills it. According to what I've heard people say. And apparently somebody made a cake of a Charizard. Or not Charizard, a Charmander. So I made a cake of a Charmander and lit the tail as the candle. Which is kind of cursed, but also fucking hilarious. One day, you will have to answer for your actions, and God may not be so merciful. <laughs> cool bug facts! Bup. 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 Ah, one! Oh no, all the bump spaces are gone. No! No, no, not the bump spaces. No. Sad. Very sad. The bump spaces are gone. I'm gonna cry now. Be right back. A lot of shows have their dark times. I mean, just look at fucking regular show. Jesus Christ. All the, like, weird fucking fucked up shit. There's a lot of fucked up shit in regular show. Some, like... Some of y'all, I, I swear, most of y'all have had to at least have watched one episode of regular show. You didn't watch regular show? Oh my god, it was on Cartoon Network. It was on Cartoon Network for such a long time. A great show. Damn, that's sad. A lot of y'all never watched that, man. That's a shame. It was a great show. Great show. Absolutely great show. Oh, that's just a modified texture. It's a, it's a Koopa Kid space, but because uh, you can get communism on it, uh, I just put the Soviet logo on it for funnies. I just put the Soviet logo for funnies, because, uh, communism happens, and communism is funny. But why? Because it's funny. Go! Teen Titans Go is shit. Apparently the original Teen Titans was great, but, uh, the crappy reboot is just all fart jokes. It's kind of disgusting. Disgusting! It's gonna be Toadette. Toadette one. Finish. The reboot has a movie too. Jesus Christ. I remember seeing Teen Titans go, and yes, all Raven is is just like an angry goth girl that hates everyone. Like an introverted goth girl that hates everyone.
duel time. Toad it. Yoshi? He only has money! Life is pain. I hate this. Go! Finish! What? What? Huh? <laughs> so it just goes like, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm gonna stop you right there. What? The fuck was that shit? Oh my! Ouch! Pay your taxes, bitch! Fucking hell. That's 54 down the drain for him. God damn. Yoshi paid his taxes a lot today. Holy shit. You never see it. But a law-abiding citizen of the Mushroom Kingdom. You never see it. But here it is. Uh-oh. That's gonna be ten gone from her. Who watched Gumball? Amazing World of Gumball. Who watched that? It's your favorite Mario Party 5, 6, or 7? I'd say... I usually choose between six and seven. I do not like five at all. Um, but seven was seven is great. Six is good. Eight is good. DS is amazing. DS is by far my favorite. I didn't watch Steven Universe, basically because that show is fucking weird as all hell. Um, it's weird, and its fan base is very, uh, interesting. Very interesting. It, it has a fan base similar to My Little Pony. That's my thoughts on Steven Universe. Oh my good god! That was a 50 coin minigame. Also. Go! Jesus! That's like a 180 coin pot! That's a 180 or something coin pot or something. Holy shit, Luigi won it too! Oh my god. No fucking way. Jesus Christ! Holy fucking shit! That's a lot of money. That's nine for Toadette, 123 for Luigi, 43 for Toad, one, two, three. All right, and then 123 for Luigi. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Fucking hell, dude. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot of money. I think he won Minigame Star, guys. <laughs> I think he won Minigame Star. <laughs> he might have. Luigi wins by winning a minigame. Colorized. Good God. Oh, interesting. Nope, he fucked it. Ow. Haha, <laughs> toad touched wood. Haha. <laughs> Less certified funny.
Thank you for that, Will. I appreciate it. No, but that sounds pretty dumb, Alex. That sounds pretty dumb. That is not the Jetsons. That is sure as hell not the Jetsons. I mean, that whole show is just way too fucking political. That whole show is just way too political. Finish. I hate that mini game, by the way, because the camera is at a 22 degree angle. It's not at a 45. It's at a 22. So not only is the camera awkward, but you got to aim the control stick at an awkward angle in order for you to actually be able to win. Oh, so that was a sad dud of a duel minigame. And in Mike's face, nothing happens. We do get a snow ride, though. Snow ride. <laughs> Take it easy. Mmm. Go. That's the kind of show I wouldn't let my kids watch, personally. It, I like I wouldn't let my kids watch it just because like That's something that you talk to your kids about that's not something you just let them sit and watch at a, a TV screen with you tell your kids about that stuff It's like eh. I'm not against people that watch it. I'm against the fact that like people just let their kids watch it and then they just soak that in and then it develops, I'm gonna say it, cognitive issues. That's all psychology right there. You may disagree with me and hate me for that, but letting your kids just watch that shows, watch shows like that and think like, oh yeah, that's just totally fine. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, not really. It's not 100% normal. It's unique, yes. Is it normal? No. It, it, it's like, I don't know, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of that stuff. I don't find it cool or anything. I just find it like, it, it's too political. That's another happening for him. Jesus Christ, he goes back to where he was. Can he do it this time? No, he's gonna miss. Well, the thing, the thing is today, they're trying to normalize the fuck out of that stuff way too hard, and it's just get, it's just making kids develop mental issues. And it's terrible. Like, making kids develop mental health issues all because uh, you're pushing a political agenda about gay people, that's not healthy. That's not healthy. I'm fine if you're gay, I don't give a shit. I have a bunch of gay friends and a bunch of you are in chat. But, I'ma be honest with you, Chief. You don't push that shit. You don't push it, okay? You don't. It's like... You, it just sounds wrong. It's literally brainwashing your kids. 
it, it's what it is. Finish. Also, holy shit, that was fast. You may not like that I said, like, the things I say, but it literally is brainwashing kids. It's the same thing with religious shows or anything like that. It's the same concept. Also, look at that. Toad's just taking two stars from Toadette. But it's the same, it's the same concept with religious shows and stuff like that. It's, it's brainwashing. It's propaganda. It's, it's propaganda. You may not like it, but it's true. And that goes with anything. Anything can be propaganda. Hell, news stations are propaganda if you think about it. I mean, look at... Look at how divided American media is. Jesus, don't even get me started. Yeah, and other countries have that problem too. I'm just giving one example. Pretty sure you guys in the UK have it too. You guys have your conservative media and you have your more progressive media and it's the same it's the same thing. You may not see it, you may have a blind eye to it, but it's there. It's there for a lot of countries that are democratic. Go. And the ones that aren't democratic? have a state-controlled uh, news station, and, well, what is that? That is literally, by definition, propaganda. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's the same anywhere that they're... Like, everyone bitches about the executive leader of the country. That's just commonplace. It's just a lot of people turn a blind eye to the fact that... The media is very divided about it. Finish. Toad got shocked to death. When Alex brought it up. Drop it, Alex. Jesus Christ, stop losing all your fucking orbs, Toad. All his buff spaces are gone again. Fucking hell, dude. But back to kids shows. I feel like they shouldn't they shouldn't have kids learn about that stuff. They should have the parents teach them. Yeah, well it was one of you guys that brought it up actually, if I remember correctly. And then I talked about it because you guys were talking about it. Just saying. There are so many Yoshi spaces, oh my god. Well, that's an example of authoritarian parents, which is a bad method of parenting. It's called literally just surveillancing the fuck out of your kid, which is what causes a kid to have mental health issues. Then you have the permissive parenting, which is the direct opposite, which is also what you don't want to do. Yeah, permissive and uninvolved. And those are bad in their own ways because you just let their kid rely on the on uh, propaganda and kid shows and stuff like that, and then 
you get a kid that doesn't know how to treat reality. And, uh, that happens. That happens a lot today. And then you see example A, B, C, D, E, F, and G on Twitter. When you plant a seed of doubt in a kid's head, it just completely fucks everything up. And then that kid is basically ruined for life without therapy. Trust me, I had therapy, and boy, did that fix a lot of shit. I'm glad I had it. I'm glad my parents could afford it. But I'd say I got out of that, uh, out of coping with, uh, divorced parents pretty well. I'd say I got out of that pretty good. Pretty unscathed. Some people, on the other hand, are not as lucky. And they let their mental health go down the drain way too far. Bomb Orb. I haven't seen that in a while on this map. Oh! Whoop! Toad's going back down. And he lands on Kamek again. Nice. Oh, that means he gets to buy another orb next turn. Bruh. My face one. So many pipe orbs, though. Jesus. You wouldn't imagine it, but apparently everyone just loves pipe orbs. That's a happening, I believe. Yes. Her first. 20. Nope, 40. Yeah. And look at that. Luigi lost all of his orbs. Meanwhile, Toadette and Toad both have five each. The fuck? There are 14 orbs in play. The thing is, is that they don't know how to use Koopa Kid orbs, so they just let them just stockpile in their inventory and never use them. They're basically just dead orbs. thing I have about the thing I have about that Corbin and this may this may piss you off but I don't feel like I don't feel like kids should be in VR it's literally been proven that kids playing VR is uh, has negative effects on the brain and brain development that like there has been literal proven facts um, kids should not play VR and I will stand by that kids should not play VR it is very damaging to children insanely damaging to children. You should not be playing it. Um, yet you have these 13-year-old, 12-year-old squeakers playing VR chat and dressed up as an anime girl with giant boobs. And it's just like, good God, where are your fucking parents? It's, it's, it disgusts me. Like, good God, where are your fucking parents? Do I need to, like, track down where you live so I can call Child Protective Services to get your ass out of that damn home? Your parents suck. Oh my god, like, it disgusts me, man. It actually disgusts the fuck out of me. Like, it, it, it gets on my nerves when I when I see all these 12-year-olds playing VR chat, and I'm just like, don't you have more important things to do? Don't you have schoolwork? It, 
it, it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. It really does. It really leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah, and, and, and it's the same, it's the same thing, kind of like how, uh, oh, I bought my kid Call of Duty because he wants it. Oh, Call of my, my kid is so violent, she plays games all the time and they have blood and stuff in them, they're terrible. Well, maybe that's because you bought them, you fucking moron. Stop buying your kid GTA. Good God. Your good your kid should not be playing Call of Duty at the age of eight. Your kid should not be playing fucking VR chat at the age of ten. That's damaging to a kid's brain. That's literally like harmful. <laughs> Yet oh no no, let's just be irresponsible parents and just like, you know, hurt our kids' mental health, let let them watch Steven Universe and you know, uh not not give them the whole birds and bees talk. Let's shelter them for their whole lives. Yeah, good idea, good fucking idea. You shelter your kid, they'll find out how to unshelter themselves. And you don't want that. Go! <laughs> Trust me. Ugh. Oh, so hello, Meg. Sorry, you walked into a great chat. <laughs> Well, do you know why kids are getting mental health issues? Because of all this trendy bullshit that's getting pushed on them. All these crazy little, you know, pride flags. All these little imaginary genders that don't exist. All these, like, dysphoriac shits. All, all this crazy stuff that makes no fucking sense. And it's super enigmatic to a little ten-year-old. And that shit fucks up a kid's brain. It really does. It makes the kid confused, and they, they don't know what the truth is. And you know what happens when that happens? That kid just goes on a downhill slope from there. And I was on a downhill slope kind of like that. It kind of, it kind of helps that a little bit. But yeah, therapy is what kids need, and not like enabling therapy, but therapy that helps the kid improve and fix flaws. Because I had therapy that helped fix a lot of problems I had. I used to blame it on myself that my parents were divorced. That is not true. My parents divorced because they hated each other. <laughs> Big fucking difference. But yeah, like, I don't get, like, again, I just, I hate all this bullcrap that we feed our kids today. It's, it's terrible. And I'm glad I mostly got away from that crap. Mostly. But sadly, there's a lot of people I do know that did not. And they let their mental health issues get to their brain. And they've just become a weak person. I'm just gonna say it like that. I'm not gonna say exactly, but they just let themselves go. And it when you let yourself go, you do not you're you're not liked. And then when you're not liked, other things happen and you don't want that to happen. I don't even think we're talking about that. Like, what What are you even on, Alex? Because I do know that internet is an issue. Internet is very much an issue. I can confirm that. But there's also a lot of bullshit that is on the internet. 
that internet is a factor, but it's also the bullshit on the internet. You can't forget that the bullshit on the internet is a problem. And if you're blind to that, that's a you problem. You can only fix yourself. I can't fix you. No one can fix you except yourself. A the therapist can push you in the right direction. But you gotta fix yourself. You can't make everyone believe your lie. What you can do is you can fix yourself. Oh, dude, I feel that, man. I fucking feel that. I do agree with that. It's a, it's it is a miracle. That much I agree with. It is a lie, though. Six six six. Ah, fuck you. Would have been funny. It would have been hilarious. She pays 10 for a spear guy. It's another blue. This is like the only two blue spaces that aren't fucking smothered in traps. It's insane. Yeah, things might not be far off, but at least we can we can make our lives worth it while we are still alive. Let's try to make the best of ourselves while we're still alive. Because if we go out swinging and happy, what else matters? Because if you can, if you can go out with a bang, why not go out with a bang? With blackjack and hookers and okay, that's a funny reference, but I'm gonna stop. Oh, that hit the that hit the fucking barrel. I've never seen one of those cannonballs hit the barrel before. Finish. And yo, she's gone. The island is gone. God, now I just remind myself of the fucking snap cube. I hate myself. Oh. <laughs> now I'm not gonna get that damn fan dub out of my damn head. Oh, <laughs> oh my fucking god. Go watch Snapcube, kids. It's a good meme. It's hilarious. I'm logging into Twitter with my diamonds. <laughs> it's so good. It's so funny. Oh, that's Yoshi's first question mark star? That's his first in a long time. He's lost them all, and now he gained them back again. Also, this game might be between Toad and Luigi. So far. Bums? Lamp oil? Rope? Bums? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rubies. Sorry, Link. I can't give credit. Come back when you're a little... Mmm... Richer. You're getting a shirt. You're not getting anything but a shirt. He literally took seven seconds. He got money? The fuck? I've never. Wow, okay. I'm shocked. I am shocked. 333? Three, three, three. 
10. And you're losing money. Who too? Well, 10 to Luigi. 10 to Luigi. I knew who it was going to, I just didn't fucking look. Because I'm dumb. Triple for Luigi. 10, 10, 10. 10, 1, 9. 10, 1, 5. Back three spaces you go, asshole. <laughs> That's a oh oh poor Luigi oh poor ba poor guy, poor guy. That's the second time that's happened to him. Second time. Poor guy. That's unfortunate. He gets to kill everyone now. Kill everyone. Go. Toadette's out. Yoshi's out. Oh, that almost hit him. Finish. Bruh, <laughs> no fucking way, dude. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god. That was amazing. That was literally down to the last second. Final five. He's gonna put a little bup stop there. That's gonna knock somebody down like 10 spaces, I think. That's a great place for that. That is a great place for that. And Toad's guaranteed a star next turn. He has more than enough money. He does not have to care. I think Toadette will still get hit by that bomb unless she goes up to the last floor. Or second last floor. Oh no, she lands on the space. Lucky her. Toadette gets a nice and cheap one. That... Sounded not kosher. <laughs> that did not sound kosher at all. Hmm. <laughs> I don't even want to know the context of that. And she loses the rest of her money. La broke bup. Broke bup bottom text. Yoshi is playing Monopoly while everyone else is playing Get to the Top. And it's quite amusing. Oh, poor Luigi. Your money's gone too, buddy. But how dare you make a rhyme? That was a good rhyme. That was a good rhyme. Buffet in debt. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but good on you. That was that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> that was hilarious. Buffet in debt. What will she do? It wasn't. I'm still gonna applaud you for it, because that was a great rhyme. That was a great rhyme. Buppet and debt, what will she do? Go! Oh, 
I think it's gonna be Yoshi that gets it. Finish. Tode got it. Oh, I'm watching. This is all a simulation in the Matrix. Also, Toadette had no eyes there. That was creepy. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is all AI. All AI. As you can tell, my WaveBird controller is off. That should be uh, good enough evidence. Give him 40 coins. Yeah, 40 coins. Useless in this map. Also, I called that. Not even intentionally. Holy fucking shit, Yoshi. Man's as rich as hell. Oh no! Yoshi's losing some of his orbs! Oh no! Yoshi lost three of his orbs. Luigi has now bought a steak of uh, Yoshi Org. Yoshi Egg. Uh, Yoshi Egg Incorporated. I don't fucking know. It's like New Egg, but worse. <laughs> it's Yoshi Egg instead of New Egg. Oh god. Imagine. Imagine that. Oh, so Toad is now in a solid lead. Oh no, Toad's gonna lose his spaces again. And that was 10. Everyone keeps losing. And Luigi bought out uh, the rest of Toad's uh, stock. So uh, the Luigi Toad merger has succeeded. Kappa. It's like we're talking about stonks here. Hey, nice one! One! And you owe five coins to Luigi. Pay your taxes now. Pay your rent now! This is Monopoly money. This is all Monopoly money. Everyone has landed on a trap board. This is hilarious. Oh, that is mean. Jeez, Luigi. You gotta kick sand in her face and then stamp, uh, stomp on her? Jesus. <laughs> Luigi's paying some taxes. Back to Yoshi. The irony of it all. He gives five. What I love about this board is the more turns you add to this board, the more spaces are covered with traps. And it just becomes an insanity minefield. No one is safe. It literally just becomes Monopoly. The board. And once you get to the top, you can buy a star. And if you don't, you're shit out of luck. We just hit the three hour mark. 20 seconds ago. For me, at least. Yoshi's out. Calling it Toad's gonna die? Nope. Nope, Toad did die. Eventually. Finish. Luigi and Toadette win. <laughs> he does. Meanwhile, most people go burr. Yoshi goes, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Cannon. Rocket launcher. He's gonna move his space ahead. Oh, I thought he'd move his space ahead. I would have laughed my ass off. That shit would have been hilarious, though. 
I've seen it happen before. You may not think it, I've seen it happen before. Pay your taxes, Yoshi. Luigi invested five coins into you. You pay ten back. Stonks. Guys, Luigi is literally investing shares into Yoshi. He literally paid him five coins and Yoshi somehow doubled his money. He literally doubled his money. What the fuck? Yoshi pulls an investment trick? Not clickbait? Toadette gets a space back. And meanwhile, the poor fucker is gonna get electrocuted to death. Oh, poor Bup. She a broke Bup now. She a broke Bup. <laughs> meanwhile, everyone else is rich. Toadette, can I have some money now? <laughs> Can I have some money now? Oh my god, Luigi. Jesus, dude. To no end. He will just pump out orbs. To no end. Oh! He's paying, t he's paying taxes back to Yoshi. Yoshi wanted a refund. <laughs> Yoshi wanted a refund on that money. This is getting dumber and dumber. <laughs> I'm just watching it devolve into chaos. Everyone's landing on fucking trap spaces, man. It's great. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. All against Yoshi. Go! Wow! Toad's out. <laughs> Yoshi's stuck! Yoshi was stuck there. That was great. That was amazing. Yeah, it's just Monopoly. It's literally fucking Monopoly, Mario Party 7 Edition. You think I joke? It literally is. Oh, Yoshi almost had him, too. Almost. That was close. That was very close. Two turns remain. Dirty coins for a star, that brings Yoshi up to two stars. He's still in last, but, um... He has a bunch of coins to make up for- actually, no, he has no bonus stars. He might have running, though. He might have running. It is possible he might have running. Which might... It's not gonna get him a win. But it might get him third. Yeah, he can't win. He can't win. But he might get third. It's sadly too late for Yoshi to make a comeback. Sadly. I would love to see him make a comeback, but it's not gonna happen. The only people who I could see winning are Luigi or Toad. Luigi, because he has a decent stockpile of coins and is only a star behind. And Toad, well, because he's in first. That being said, Toadette could win too. She does have two, two bonus stars in... Ooh. Ooh. 
Ooh. All I gotta say about this is, ooh, interesting. If somebody steals stars from this, this could change the game dramatically. If Yoshi steals two stars, Yoshi could win. He can win if he steals two stars. And he might guarantee himself a win, for all I know. Actually, no, he can't guarantee it. Would be cool to imagine, though. If Toad steals stars, yes, he wins. If Toad steals stars, he has the game in a bag at, the, at that point. Toad won. Toad won. He won. Finish. Ladies and gentlemen. This game could get interesting. Or one-sided. Yo, thank you for the sub, GG Toad, indeed. GG Toad. Oh, and it's a dud. It's a dud. Fuck, man. That would have been interesting. That would have been really interesting. But I guess the game is now even more interesting now because it's literally a super close game. This game is going to be down to the wire. Especially now that Toadette got a DK space. If she wins the star here, which she could. Come on, show me a star. Nah, it's 20 coins. Okay. Not a big deal then. Alright. If it were a star as the award, or the reward, she could have potentially won the game. She still can. She still can win the game, it's just going to be razor thin for her. She has to get both of her bonus stars. Go! If they're even tracked correctly. It could still be Toadette's game. If she gets both her bonus stars, she, she can win. She just has to hope that Toad doesn't get any of his. Regardless, Finish. to anybody that picked Toad or Toadette, you probably automatically won. That being said, if Luigi gets a star, the prediction could be all out the window. It's literally going to be down to the bonus stars again, which is very commonplace, but still, it's going to be down to bonus stars. One zero. -oh. That's DK, isn't it? That is DK. I guess we're having our second DK mini game. I swear, if it's a single player again. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. Never mind. He can win by coins if he does get a bonus star, though. He can win by coins. If Toad doesn't get any of his bonus stars picked and Luigi gets Orb, which is what he has currently, and minigame, he could potentially win. He just needs one of those and to make sure Toad doesn't get his stars. This is nuts. So many win conditions. Finish. So many win conditions. Oh yeah, I'm a winner. <laughs> oh yeah, Yoshi's out. Yoshi had his chance and he blew it. <laughs> Go! 
Mario Party 8, he says, Luigi won. And I think he also says, uh, who is number one now in Mario Kart Wii, I think. I could be wrong. No, he says in Double Dash. No, he says it in both. He says it in both. Luigi, what are you doing driving into that wall over there? You just gave Toadette the win. Dummy. Oh my god. <laughs> he's in last. No, he's not in last anymore. He was in last there. Finish. For a little while. On to the final turn. Oh boy. Oh boy. Luigi has a minigame. That is confirmed. Toadette has shopping. That is locked down. And Toad has happening kind of locked down. The only one who can tie it is Luigi. Yoshi's out of the running for Orb, Orb Star. It's now up to Luigi, Toad, and Toadette on who gets who gets Orb. And given they all have Orbs, they should all use one. Toad ties, but Luigi and Toadette have not gone yet. And they can very easily break the tie and then share the Orb Star. Uh-oh. Everyone has a star. This... Ooh. Oh, it's single player. Never mind. If it were multiplayer, it'd be interesting. But it's single player. All your coins! Oh, whoop de doo That doesn't really mean anything. And it's Slaughter World, the easiest one. <laughs> so again, this minigame doesn't fucking matter. Welcome to mini games that don't fucking matter. I am your host, Savage Jasic 20. Burger King foot lettuce. The last thing you want in your Burger King burger is somebody's foot fungus. Turns out it might be what you get. A fortune are anonymously uploaded onto the site. A picture of him standing. <laughs> or I'll stop, I'll stop. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. I'm shit posting if it ain't obvious. Borger King. Borger. Borger tastes good. Mmm. Borger. Yep. Means Toadette takes the lead for Orb. Two, one, three. Ew, that's the worst roll you could get with a, tri a triple dice. And she's paying up. How much will she pay? Her whole wallet? A third of it. A third of her whole wallet. Knocking her down to 20 coins. <laughs> Toadette gets high and rolls terribly. Colorize 2022. Oh my god. Toadette, you should not play D&D. Eight five one. I wasn't even like I kind of guessed that that would be a one, but still, that was pretty bad. That was a pretty bad roll. Two v two. Battery ram. Guess that's how we're ending off the game. <laughs> Welcome to yet another. Minigame, that doesn't matter, because minigame is already well secured by, quite literally, and I'm not even joking when I say this, almost 90 coins. <laughs> Luigi already won <laughs> the minigame star.
Look at them taking their time. It's cute. Finish! Who won? That was Photo. The Buffs won. The Buffs won. Bup and Bup. Female sounding bup and male sounding bup. You have a real high pitched bup and a real low pitched bup. Bup! Bup! <laughs> I don't fucking know. Alright! Orb! Orb happening in red. Toad 1. Wait, it was Toad in? Oh no! I miscounted. I miscounted, guys. Toad got happening, I knew that much. Toad swept. Toad swept. He swept the game. Not a full sweep, but he did sweep. It was a partial sweep. Because he did share Orb Star, but still, what the fuck, dude? That was dumb. Welcome to Bup the Game. Introducing Bup. Featuring Bup from Dante May Bup. Um, new Bup mode. Uh, yeah. There you go. New Bup mode. Jesus Christ, that was a runaway game. That was a runaway game. For the record, if those three bonus stars were not picked, Luigi would have had four, because he would have had minigame. Toadette would have had four. And let's see who would have had running. Hold on one second. Who would have had running star? If the opposite of those three bonus stars were picked, Let's see what would have happened. Chat. 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 Luigi would have won if those three bonus stars were picked. Luigi would have won if those three bonus stars weren't picked. And the opposite three were. That was a close game. <laughs> that was a close game, Jesus. Also, look at that. I was way wrong on the orb count. Holy shit. Uh, way off. Yeah, 16, 20, 19, 20. Uh, who else? Yoshi. Actually, for shopping. Shopping was a tied 100. Wait, never mind. Luigi wouldn't have won, because shopping was tied. What the fuck? Dude, really? Really? You gotta be kidding me, man. Minigame was accurate. Bruh, he, he almost swept them all. He almost swept them all. The only one Luigi got outright was, uh, happening. I mean, not happening, running. And, uh, minigame. Minigame and happening. I mean, I keep saying happening. Minigame and running belong to Luigi. Everything else belonged to Toad. That is stupid as hell. Stupid as hell, I tell you. Look at that graph. That graph is so stupid. Yoshi just climbed the mountain and then fell back off of it and then climbed back up again. You mean, uh, Rigor Mortis? Or however you say it in Latin.
Well, that was a 30 turn tardy for you. That was interesting as hell. Uh, that was Pagoda. All right, and with that, I'm gonna end off. Let me quickly uh, reset the stats. That was a cool game. Pretty, uh, it was down to the end. Literally down to the end. Literally. But yeah. Thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the, all the really hot takes we had tonight. I love talking about that stuff. I'm like very passionate about talking about that stuff. So yeah, I appreciate y'all talking with me about it. Anyways, thank you all for being here. I greatly appreciate it. I hope y'all had a great Monday. And uh, yeah, I'll be here tomorrow as usual. Y'all take care. Have a great night. Bye-bye.